Welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now today we're going to be touching base on my Apothecary. I did make it last year. It's a simple bookshelf that you can stain and kind of age it up a little bit and throw some unique stuff on it. Uh, it's based on witchcraft and stuff like that and I've been into witchcraft not to practice but for the Halloween aesthetic reason for it uh, because obviously witchcraft is associated with Halloween. So I decided to go ahead and make one and threw all kinds of interesting stuff on this shelf. So what we're going to do is we're going to start at the top and work our way down, okay? Way up here is a crystal ball, okay? I got that from um, hang on, Hobby Lobby, I think. I want a real authentic crystal ball. I definitely will invest in one of those. This right here I got from At Homes about three or four years ago. These guys here are my zombie heads, okay? And this right here is my uh, pentagram box that has the key to my book of shadows which I'll show you here when we move down to it. And down here I got this right here from a friend that I used to work with. And she went to Arizona and actually bought that for me. It was really nice of her to do that. Thank you, Taylor. Appreciate that. All right. These here are handmade, okay? They had their amethyst. That's my uh, birthstone. So I decided to go ahead and make like a pa pagan prayer beads. They're not religious, but they are pagan in a way. And I got a few of them sitting over here on the other shelf. This here is a pest, pest I think, what do they call it? Pest, pestle and mortar, mortar, something like that. It's hard to pronounce. Mortar and pestle, I think, something like that. But anyway, yeah, so I got one of those, okay? And it's metal, okay? And I got this unique looking knife in the background here. These are smudge sticks, okay? And then over here I got... A few of the apothecary jars. Okay, I got those from Amazon and just put some unique stuff in them. Like right here, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Okay, just to give it a unique look about it. And it's got some uh, seasonings and spices and stuff, as you can see. And moving down to the next shelf, apothecary jars. I get these from a Christmas tree shop. These right here, I got from Amazon. I thought they were unique looking, so I decided to go ahead and get them. And as you can see, my CD and lens cleaners, and up towards the back here, is my skull type thing. I got that from At Homes. Okay. Moving down to the next one is some more apothecary jars and some, um, I forgot what these are called again. Charm bags, I think they're called. But anyway, I threw some charms on it and stuff. These are very cool looking. Let's see. I don't know if you can actually see it or not. But anyway, some more apothecary jars, okay? And up on the sides of them, I got a skeleton right there. I got some dream, dream catchers. This is, in fact, rosary beads, okay? They're Catholic rosary beads. All right. But anyway, and up on the side here, I got my uh, pagan prayer beads. And that's pretty much it on the apothecary. Now, the actual bookshelf, <coughs> book of shadows, not shelf is right here and I'm going to stand it up right behind this guy here and then we're going to move him out of the way show you this here now, I'm not going to open it up because I did that in a separate video if it's not on this channel I will check uh, but <clears throat> uh, I did make it and what it is this right here was actually handmade by a friend of mine online through Etsy.com they're called the Three Witches. They create these kind of things, these Book of Shadows, because I've been searching long and hard for the perfect Book of Shadows and put my uniqueness into it. But I couldn't find anything until I came across the looks of this one here. And I'm like, oh, I seen one that was very similar to this. So I went into that, and she walked me through it, through emails, step by step, exactly what she wanted to do, what I wanted, and I told her, and I got it within a matter of a week or so. And it looks absolutely fantastic. Comes with charms. Now these charms here, they have been changed since I got it. Because it originally had some very long strings on it. And I had to trim it down a little bit because it was just a little too uh, 
much string in my opinion. But anyway, that's what the book looks like. Comes with a lock too. Alright, now on the side here, see it's got gems, okay. And on the back, okay right there, I'll make sure it don't fall. And that's what the back looks like, okay. See how they uh, make it? You can actually still get these, but she doesn't work through Etsy.com anymore. She does it on her own. <clears throat> but anyway, long story short, that is my book of shadows. The key is up in that box right there to unlock it. And I actually made my own um, um, writings and stuff like that, but I typed them out. It's computerized, so it's not authentically handwritten or anything like that. Because I don't practice that stuff. <clears throat> but anyway, that's it on my apothecary. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And hit that notification bell because I will be pushing out some more videos. Okay, that is my apothecary. Mm -hmm. You guys have yourselves a good day. This is Pumpkin Horror.